Hello everyone, I'm Rob Wilson, you're watching the Video Gadgets Journal and this is everything you need to know about gesture controls on the brand new iPhone X. If it isn't already obvious, the iPhone X doesn't have a home button. Radical change for Apple devices, so we have to deal with that with new gestures. Simply put, there is a new home bar at the bottom and that acts as your home button and a swipe. So if I want to exit an application, I simply swipe up from the bottom of the screen. It should also be noted that this switches to landscapes and now we have the home bar at the bottom again, swipe up to exit back to the home screen. To see all of your currently open apps, swipe up from the bottom of the screen and pause in the middle. You will then see all of your currently open applications and you can do this both on the home screen or within applications. Exactly the same thing happens, swipe up and pause to see your existing open applications. Now if you're already in an application and you see that the home bar is black, that means there are other applications open and you can simply swipe on that bar to quickly move from one application to the other. If you wanted to do it in a more fancy way, you can sort of lift up from the bottom of the bar, move it to the right and it's a fancier animation but it does essentially the same thing as simply swiping. If you want to close currently open apps, swipe up from the bottom of the screen and pause. You can't swipe just yet though, what you need to do is hold on the application, then you will see it crosses at the top, you can either close the application like that, or then swipe it away. Previously you accessed the control centre on iOS devices by swiping up from the bottom of the screen, but obviously that doesn't work anymore. Instead, you need to swipe down from the top right of the screen where you can see your battery indicator, and that's where the control centre is. Also note that this is the only place you can see the battery percentage. On the regular screen, it's not there. So something to bear in mind if you're really anal about how much battery percentage you have left. Also note that notifications are still accessed from the top of the screen, either on the clock or the nodule here. And speaking of things that haven't changed, if you swipe down from the middle of a home screen, that still gives you the search spotlight. No home button also means that Siri is now accessed from a new location. It's the power button, simply press and hold to activate Siri. No. To take a screenshot, you need to press and hold the power and volume up button for half a second. And if you want to access the power controls on your phone, you need to press and hold the power button and volume down. If you have Apple Pay set up, you can access it by double tapping on the power button. However, if you want to turn that off, you can go to settings, scroll down to wallet and Apple Pay and toggle the double click side button. When the phone is locked, you can see the lock screen by simply tapping on the screen and when you do that, you get two options down here. If you 3D touch on either of them, for example, a camera, that will launch a camera or turn on the torch if you want to. This tap to wait feature can be turned off by going to settings, then general, accessibility, and then scrolling down to tap to wake, toggle it on or off. The iPhone 10 is larger than the standard 16 by 9 aspect ratio, so you will get some letterboxing on the sides. You can make it full screen by pinching outwards, but obviously then you will have the problem of the notch here on your screens. You can pinch back in to put it back to its original screen size of the video. Now, if it feels too scary and unfamiliar without the home button, you can kind of get it back by going to settings, general, accessibility and then going to assistive touch. If you turn that on and then go to customize top level, remove all of the icons except for one, change it to the home option and press done. So what that should do now is with the floating button here, this will act as a new home button, like that. And that's it for your complete quick guide to getting started with iPhone 10 gesture controls. If you want more tips and tricks just like this, don't forget to check out my other videos, including this mammoth guide to all things iOS 11. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.